Bonjour, my friends from YouTube, and let's switch this over to a new perspective. Wow. Because I have so much to tell you today. Um, I was thought I was going to get internet, and I didn't, and today I'm kind of sick. So I put on a silly hat to give me a little bit of um, comfort, because I'm sick. I just drank hot tea and then cold water, because I'm stupid, and now my throat is really hurting, and I'm still going to do this video no matter what. And I put some eyeliner and stuff on, because my eyes are really puffy. Anyways, let's get this ball a rolling. Uh, I am timing myself now because the last couple times I have gone way over. I went to GameStop. I like to do this every two months because I like to splurge sometimes and it's really good. Um, so I do that and it's fun. So I got two DS games and I reserved Halo Reach. Yay! I love Halo so much and I love to play online and you'll probably see me there under that's girl Lainey. So, come on. Shoot me if you must, because I'm not good with guns. Give me a sword and I'm great. So I reserve that, and it has jetpacks and all types of cool armor, and I can't wait to play it. And I will tell you more when I do. Um, but I did get two DS games, because I do have DS, and I do have French Coast, but that is for later. I will tell you that later. Um, Kirby! Everybody knows Kirby. It's Nintendo. And this game sucks, but I love Cur Kirby a lot, and I'll tell you why. Kirby is girly. I just love how that fell together. Um, Kirby's very girly. He's pink. He lives in Dreamland, and he lives off of sugary goods. Okay, so Kirby. Talk a little bit more about him, Mr. Kirby. Though you're in my way. Let's put you over here. Da, 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 da. He attacks you. Anyways, Kirby. Anyways. So, I like Kirby. Because he was kind of girly and girls could play a video game and, you know, kind of like it. You think he, you can a girl can relate to Kirby. Because it tells you you can be anything you want. And Kirby does that. He can do anything that he wants. And... Guys had Mario Brothers, Zelda, which had Link, and there were so many males. And then they finally came out with Metroid later, and I love Metroid. It's very feminine, I love it. And it gives that, like, I will kick your butt attitude, and that's a whole other thing I'll go into later about Metroid, but I love Metroid, I love video games. Um, but I love Kirby, and I think that guys should stay away from Kirby, because it's a girl thing, and you should stay away. Okay, on to my next one. And I'm really proud of this one, because I found it, and it was like, oh, you know. Monster Ranchers! I loved that cartoon. Anything that ended with Mon, when I was nine, I did not like. Digimon! Bakugan! And you, you, you don't know anyone, but I didn't really, I like the early Yuga, and then the new one sucks. Pokemon, only when the early ones in the movies. I love the movies. But now they're getting outrageous with it, and it's just going too far. Pokemon people, stop while you're ahead. Um, now that you have your new perspective on me, and I am done showing you my video games, and you can read them, well, let's go backwards. Oh my gosh! Earthquake! Ah! This is one my hair should flip upside down, but it doesn't. Anyways. Ew. Um... Love Monster Riders, and Andrew quit trolling, quit commenting. Yes, I said I hate Digimon, and I mean it. I don't like them. I like Monster Rangers, because they're awesome. But I do. I love Monster Rangers, and I love the cartoon, and me and my boyfriend went in there together to actually get this game, because we're going to share it, unfortunately. And, um, the guy at the video game store used to watch it, and he agreed with me all the way. I was like, okay, hi. <laughs> So, yeah. Um. So, love it. So, if you if you have any tapes of Monster Rancher, you can send them to me, <laughs> or like post them in my comment box. Do it. Post a link, and I'll watch them all. I swear, I love Monster Rancher. Okay, on to next news. Why I entered this video with Bonjour is because, I, like I told you, I have French tutor on my DS, and I just went through the food section, 
and I work at Burger King. <laughs> and I, I love Burger King. It's a serious job in the business, but the commercials are so outrageously pot-smoking hippie-ish. I mean, they do a prank of the week on Tosh.0. Oh. Come on, how, how better? And there, it's a big king that runs around and pulls pranks on people and steals stuff, and it, he's like, it's awesome. I mean, McDonald's has a clown, and Wendy's has a little girl, and D Dairy Queen has um, lips and a blizzard mobile. Did you know that Dairy Queen used to have the um, Dennis the Menace, and they didn't even realize? I used to work there, and I knew that. I was like, when did they change it from this to this? Dennis the Menace was great. I would still love Dennis the Menace. Oh, my God, he's great. Anyways, randomness. I only have five minutes left. Come on. Anyways, so I was going on at work using my French, because I try to do that, and I have a friend, and she's very blonde, and she has blonde moments, and I love her to death, and I hang out with her, and you have to laugh at her sometimes, so, we're at work, and I told her, I was like, j'aime un croissant du fromage avec oeuf et saucissons, 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 uh, well, I meant to say sausage, so, I like a good cheese croissant with eggs and sausage. And she's like, oh, that's great. You're working on your public, your foreign relations stuff. I was like, yeah, because that's what I want to be in college. That's what I'm in college for is to do foreign relations. And so I like my French. And she pops off <laughs> and says, <sighs> it's embarrassing to even repeat. Um, One day I'm going to have a child and he will be your uncle. And I'm trying, I mean, not uncle. He'll be your nephew. And I'm trying to say this as much as she does. He's going to be your nephew, and when I need my alone time, you can take him to Italy with you where you speak your French, and you can buy him a croissant. And this is the part where I just put my head down in shame. And I was like, really? Go to Italy, speak French, and buy him a croissant. Okay. You do know that in Italy they speak Italian and they eat pasta and breadsticks and maybe the occasional croissant, but France is where I will usually be, speaking French and eating croissants with your nephew, my nephew. And she looks at me, she's like, they speak Italian in Italy? Yes. And she felt so dumb and she turned so red and I was like, I had to laugh at her, it was hilarious. I'm tired. I have had three hours of sleep today, and I I've got to get back up at six a.m. and go to school. And I have to figure out what I missed in trig trigonometry. Woo! Not a good thing. I'm doing very good in school though, so I'm happy. Um, I'm happy with school. And I found a school that I'm looking to go to that has a study abroad, so Andrew Ian Hart, look for me in the next five years. Which, before I said two, but I'm not, I'm, I have other stuff in my life right now. And I, I, I'm, I'm raising the bar up to five, so see you in five years, maybe. Or three. But I'm not making any promises. Anthony, if you are watching this, I'm sending you silly bands. People in England don't have silly bands. They're so lucky. <laughs> Anyways, I am off and I will probably make another video sometime very soon because that's going to be my new plan is to make more videos. So, au revoir and a bientôt.